In light of recent events at the U.S.-Mexico border, the Bulba Garden staff has written this statement. We would like to stress that for us, this is not a matter of politics, but of basic human rights and decency. Well, I do love me some politamon, and Bulba Garden is providing it. There is nothing better than taking children's entertainment and infusing it with modern-day hot topic issues. That uh, is a combination I think everybody enjoys. Take something children love, take something there's a fan base for, and just shove politics right up its ass. Just as far, as far up its ass as you can possibly just fist it right on up there. Now, I wasn't familiar with who Bulba Garden was. I just happened to stumble across this on Twitter. Apparently, it's a, a fairly sizable Pokemon fan website comprised of the Bulba Garden forums and the Bulbapedia, a Wikipedia dedicated to cataloging all things Pokemon. And the Twitter account is followed by a good amount of people, about 100,000 plus. Bulba even went on to uh, explain further, in case you didn't get the point. We know we'd have zero fan support without our wonderful staff, an extraordinarily diverse group. LGBT, immigrants, etc. And we stand together. An attack against them, or people like them, is an attack against what makes Bulba possible. When that happens, we speak up. Because you couldn't have Pokemon without homosexual immigrants. I don't know if you've ever followed Pokemon, but it is the story of Ash Ketchum, a black transgendered youth, traveling around the Kanto region, looking to find his new gay lover. That is the core essence of Pokemon, and that is what makes Pokemon fan sites like Bulba a possibility. We wouldn't exist without the contribution of our extremely diverse staff, some of whom are immigrants, or children of, who would be victims of those policies if they immigrated now. And a policy that would make a victim of one of us is a policy that attacks all of us. U.S. government used border wall. Super effective. So what exactly was the statement that Bulba Garden decided to issue forth? What edict did they give their fellow Pokemon fans? I wonder who they chose to write this on that wonderfully diverse staff. Oh, of course, Hector. Not John Smith. Hector. Hector Rodriguez? Hector Ramos? <laughs> I wonder why Hector would be the one to write this policy. But let's read it. And the saying goes, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Well, we are off to a fantastic start. Gotta hit them hard with a quote. Really, show how educated you are. Thousands of children have been taken from their parents and are being kept in cages, placed into internment camps. Not even infants are exempt, as they are taken from their parents and placed into these so-called tender age camps. <laughs> People are being treated as criminals simply for seeking asylum from their homelands torn asunder by violence and famine, which is a legal and protected right under law and treaty. Not only that, but the use of the children to persuade the parents to plead guilty to charges they are innocent of is despicable. This is not right. This is not the America that is supposed to be the leader of the free world. This is not the America that is a champion of democracy and human rights. This is a travesty, a moral debacle, and completely inhumane. And it should be condemned as such by any decent, human being. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. I will travel across the land. Now, far be it from me to pass up this delicious irony that a Pokemon fan site and Wikipedia, that the forum itself would issue a statement about how unjust it is to capture some other living thing and put it into a cage. That's not right. You can't put those children into internment camps, into tender age camps, and make them fight for our amusement. Hector, your entire fandom is based around the idea of slave fights. You capture innocent creatures that haven't done a fucking thing to you. You intern them in your Pokeballs, and then you make them fight each other 
for your fucking amusement. Fiction is supposed to be like an idealized form of the real world, where people go to relax and get away from the really terrible shit. But even in the real world, we put our foot down when it comes to that. That's why people that have like dog fights, chicken fights, get arrested. They get prosecuted. People shame them, but not in Pokemon. All I'm saying, Hector, is if Michael Vick existed in the Kanto region, he would be a fucking gym leader. Now, the thread itself was almost completely in agreement with Hector. I definitely agree with Hector, Gen Grizzilla, and TRN Natalie. And this isn't a political issue. Technically, keeping children inside cages counts as child abuse. Technically. I like how he has to qualify that. You couldn't just come out with a hard-hitting point. You couldn't say, hey... Maybe locking kids up in cages is cruel and unusual. No, just technically. Remind me never to let Vulpix 037 babysit my children. Because I technically don't want them to be murdered or technically raped. So Bulba Garden releases its public statement on the issues. The non-political political statement. And I have a little bit of fun fucking with them on Twitter. Uh, I know, it was a very Gary thing to do. Editing his post and laughing at him. It's very... It's very Gary of me, I'm sorry. However, I didn't realize at the time that I had stumbled on a gold mine. We're talking the mother load. I hit a vein that runs deep. Because just one quick look around their forum told me pretty much everything I need to know about this particular community. And maybe you're inclined to go take a look at the forums yourself. Hey, I did. Scope it out. See what kind of community's there. See what kind of posts get put up by the user base. Just uh, one minor problem. If you were to go, say, look at certain subforums, they don't exist anymore. You must have an account to be able to view this. Well, hey, that's not a big deal. I'll go register an account. Oopsie, go fuck yourself. We're not taking any new registrations. Really makes you think. Need to have an account to view this. Can't sign up for an account anymore. Completely wiped out certain subforums from public viewing. I wonder if that's a topic that'll get raised later on. Luckily for us, and unfortunately for them, that's what Google Cache exists for. There are plenty of archives of some of the more interesting posts that give you a real idea of the kind of community you're dealing with at Bulba Gardens. The Autism Thread, with three pages of results. This should be entertaining. Calling all autistic people. Okay, that sounded really dumb. Anyway, this is a thread to talk about autism, for autistic people to connect, talk, share their experience with it, etc. I'm autistic myself, and I like to write about them in my fanfics. And I want to learn how to write them believably, sensitively. So, presenting the autism thread. I never would have guessed it. Apparently, people in the Pokemon fan base suffer from autism. Who saw that coming? A complete, a complete shocker, I'm sure. I hate having autism. It's prevented me from living like a normal person would. I don't know how to drive. I'm still single. And I've been working at the same temp job for six years. Meanwhile, my sister, who came before me, can drive expertly, is married, and has a job in a jewelry store. Why can't someone just run me over already? The world hates me and sees me as nothing more than cheap labor or a useless mistake until they develop a foolproof cure for autism. I'm never going to feel better about myself. And death will just be a huge blessing for me. Oh, holy shit, that's dark. That is a... That's some heavy stuff to drop on other Pokemon fans in the autism thread. Begging for death and praying that somebody just runs you over with their fucking car. And you know, it's fitting that I feel the urge to make a reference right here. I can't help but forgive me. In Final Fantasy IX, it was said, uh, to be forgotten is worse than death. I believe to be unloved is worse than death. <laughs> Do any of you have experience with mental illness? Ten pages of results. I'm starting to notice a bit of a trend with the Pokemon fanbase on Bulba Garden. A lot of autistic people. A lot of mentally ill people as well. Your gender identity. I saw a thread about sexuality, but none about gender identity. So, what's your gender identity? Are you trans? Cis? Non-binary, etc.? I'm a non-binary trans man. My gender is approximately 60% male and 40% question, 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 question mark. It's a mystery even to Luck Gondor exactly what the fuck he is, but he's, he's trying to figure it out. He's got 60% of it pretty nailed down. It's that other 40% that's too elusive for him to figure out. I'm a trans man. 
I started identifying as a male around the summer of 2013 or so. I was gender fluid for a couple of months beforehand. But then, after edging more and more to feeling masculine, I decided I was a trans man. Be sure to keep an eye out around the dilation station at the next GDQ, because I'm sure an ineligible mess will more than likely find themselves there. Cis male, however, definitely gender non-conforming. I'm not masculine. I can't live up to masculinity, and have no desire to. I think that's a really roundabout way of saying, I'm a soy boy. I am a giant fucking soy boy. I watch my girlfriend get fucked by her boyfriend. I hold her hand, and I kiss her on the cheek, and I tell her, it's going to be okay, baby. I'm going to make you dinner right after this. Maybe give you a back rub, because that's the kind of man I am. I love my baby girl, and I love my baby girl's boyfriend. And because just one thread about sex and gender isn't enough, we've got your sexuality with a poll. Let's take a look at the poll results of what kind of community we're looking at. 19 votes for straight, giving it 33%, with the other 67% split among gay, lesbian, homosexual, bisexual, pansexual, asexual, unsure, and other. I'm not sure why unsure and other are two different categories. How are you unsure what your sexuality is? What makes you horny would be a good starting point to figuring out what your sexuality might be. We had an older thread about sexuality back in OTB, but it was five years old, and I thought, what if people's ideas about themselves had changed in the five years since that was initially posted? So now, what better time than to bring a fresh thread to SNA? I personally identify as pansexual, because my internal belief system is basically, if you get along well with someone, why should anything else matter? And that's essentially me in a nutshell, as a person too. Growing up, I never really put a label on it because I always thought, people are people. Why would I like one more than the other? And that's pretty much what I've stuck to. So what do you guys think? What's your sexuality? I wonder what sort of results we're going to get on a forum with mentally ill, autistic, gender-confused users. I think gray asexual probably describes me best. I'm gray asexual. To be more specific, I'm gray hetero. As I said in the old thread, I currently identify as gray aromantic, bi-pansexual, with a large preference for men. I didn't know we'd reached the point in society where just coming up with a new label wasn't enough. Now we've got to color code it as well. Well, let me personally identify as purple heterosexual. Why purple? Because fuck primary colors. Remember, diversity is our strength. Purple heterosexuality is where it's at. And you fucking gray asexuals can suck my dick. By the way, that was a joke. I know a lot of you are autistic, so you're going to take that literally. I'm just poking a little fun at you. Please don't contact me to give me oral sex. And no fan community would be complete without a dedicated portion of the user base helping to contribute to the ever-growing list of shipping. Because who doesn't want two fictional cartoon characters to have a sexual relationship with one another? Who gets to date who? It's a big topic of interest. Just one look at the fucking article on the associated Bulbapedia gives you an idea of how seriously they take shipping and fan fiction. I'm not even going to touch that. Look at it scroll. Somebody wrote this essay. Somebody sat down and gave a chronological fucking essay on the history of shipping within the Pokemon community. It just doesn't fucking end. Now, I could, I could read some of this for you, but I've learned my lesson. I am not going to stumble across another story involving a pony fucking a tree stump. It's not going to happen. I don't even want to imagine the kind of sick fucking shit Charizard and Ash Ketchum are going to get up to. What exactly Misty's going to do with that Psyduck is going to be something that never is filled in in my mind. Because I'm going nowhere near this. But just so you know, it's a point of contention within the community. It's still going. This fucking article is still going. So it would seem that Bulbagarden has a fairly large, young user base of mentally ill, autistic, gender-confused children. Thankfully, the adults in charge can be trusted wholeheartedly. Oh, it got a bit, got a bit chilly in here. I think that's coming from the ground. Did hell freeze over? Oh, what's this? There was a CP ring with some of their mods a few years back. <laughs> Wait, what? Bulbagarden porn forum. CP ring with some of their mods... A few years back. <laughs> okay. Yes, apparently this was a thing that happened. Because everybody fucking talked about it. Multiple websites all talking about the same fucking event. To be honest, the Bulbapedia and Smogon pedophile scandals were the most fun times to be part of the hardcore Pokemon community. The attempted and bungled cover-up by the PS admins. And the case of the Smogon scandal still makes me laugh whenever I think about it. To be serious for a moment, the fact that two of the biggest Pokemon sites 
were involved in this sort of scandal comes as no surprise to me. The hardcore Pokemon community seems to be filled with weirdos sexually attracted to little girls, and the excuses they come up with to try and defend their fetishes are hilarious. I have no doubt in my mind that we'll have more scandals like this in the future. This shit is way too widely ingrained into people. There was a secret subforum only for moderators and admins, which some adult users of Bulbapedia used to secretly invite their underage members for cybers, gay ones included. They were also frequently exchanging dick pics with each other. Moreover, the admin of Bulbapedia, Pomfret, got famous for saying age is just a number when he got asked why does he like shipping underage Pokemon characters together. This story is well known on VP. Maybe someone has a link to the archive. This is also the reason why people call Bulbapedia Bulbapedo. So is what Ed is saying true? That Moz's van was basically a walled off sub forum for mods just to post adult stuff, then mysteriously vanished once the guy sold the site to Curse? If the forum was so secret, why would they mention the area in 2006, unless Moz's van's content wasn't known until later? Did some guy leak it in response to some guy blocking pages just to be the first guy to get the info? then catapulted himself to fame, then sold it to Curse? Information seems to go everywhere. Given the amount of people talking about it, it seems like something was going on. You've got it on GameFAQs, on FacePunch, on 4chan, on Encyclopedia Dramatica, on Kiwi Farms. Everybody keeps bringing up Moz's van. What the fuck is Moz's van? Moz's van, named after Bulba Garden's creditor, was a hidden forum section where staff members could share pictures of their tiny penises and engage in homosex. Sadly, have a media, Bulba Garden's new corporate overlords, forced its closure. Can't have porn on a children's website. So it seems like two names keep popping up in connection with whatever this is about. Pomfret and Moz. So who are they exactly? Well, if you look at Bulba Garden itself, it actually tells you who these people are. In late 2002, following significant downtime on the part of Serbi.net, Moz and Archaic began to plan for the revival of Bulba Garden, with Moz providing the initial funding. And when you look at the staff listings, you'll see that Archaic is still listed as the webmaster, and under noteworthy retired staff, Moz is listed as a creditor. So the allegation going around that there was a secret subforum hidden from the normal user base that had some kind of connection to CP or child pornography or underage grooming, and that two of the people on the staff were involved in it, one an ex-funder of the site, Moz, the other the webmaster, Archaic, or Pomfret. But what evidence for that still exists out there? Can you find anything? Well, when I first started looking for it, everybody linked me to a Tumblr where there was a, a fucking confessional for Bulba Garden staff members. And while a lot of them did talk about it in bits and pieces, the main images that were listed on the Tumblr are broken. You can't actually see them in a high resolution. So whatever's being discussed isn't visible. Now, there also happens to be a Dropbox link listed that says it has an archive of all the information, but when you try to click it, it 404s on you. So the Tumblr itself is kind of a dead end. It doesn't really lead anywhere. So I began to look around a little bit more. Now, there was some postings by Moz himself on another forum talking about the subject and the speculation around it. Moz's van is pretty dead. It was supposed to be porn sex discussion for mature, lol, am I right, posters. Shrug. Edited. Hi, Ed. Hi, VP. Edit number two. I'm not a tech guy. I knew Archaic from the long, long ago. Gave him $1,000 as a loan to start the servers going. Left the servers on my credit card, and he'd PayPal me. Because Australians couldn't pay for rack space back then. Who knows? Moz's van, named after Bulba Garden's creator, was a hidden forum section where staff members could share pictures of their tiny penises and engage in homosex. Sadly, have a media Bulba Garden's new corporate overlord forced its closure. Can't have porn on a children's website. And that was last edited by Moz back in October of 2011. There also was a screen cap of Archaic when he used to trip fag back on the boards in 2012. And sure enough, in relation to what people were saying earlier about him saying that underage is fine and age is just a number, as already mentioned, no, age is just a number, and I don't believe in such a thing as underage. Even with all that, though, it seems to be a bit of a dead end. I mean, there's nothing really conclusive about this Moz's van subforum existing. I mean, sure, we've seen the behavior now. We've seen them hide subforums. So we know they do that on Bulbapedia. Archaic did actually say that he didn't have a problem with underage. Moz admits in his post that there was a subforum dedicated to sharing porn with each other. And that quote comes from him about sharing pictures of their penises. But if only we had access to those Tumblr screen caps or something from behind the scenes to get more information. Well, there is one source that had it. Kiwi Farms in their thread talking about this, talking about Archaic, about Pomfret. One user, just one, had a backup zip folder of postings in the mod forum on Bulba Garden. 
from the Administration Lounge, the Staff Forum's restricted area, on November 9, 2010. Evical Post, Moderators and the Van. Hi all, it's been brought to my attention that a few mods have access to the van, but are underage, under 18. For a variety of legal reasons, I think it's best to remove access to the van for all underage moderators. The most efficient way to do this is to remove it for all moderators not in the Moz's Vans user group and then add you back by request. So if you're over 18 and want back in the van, let me know in the thread and I'll change your permissions. Otherwise, like buying cigarettes and being able to star in porn flicks, viewing Moz's van is something you'll have to wait to see until you're 18. Sorry to those that it inconveniences, Evan. So this would seem to confirm that Moz's van did exist, that there was porn on it, that it was shared between the moderators, and that people who were underage had access to it. Now, if Moz is correct in saying they shared dick pics with each other, and if the postings on other websites are correct, saying that it existed all the way back in 2005 or 2006, and this post is only being made in 2010, that means for half a decade, dick pics and porn was being shared between adult users and underage users on Bulba Garden. Another interesting thing to note is the amount of moderators trying to argue the issue about what's the legal age of consent in their area. Talking about whether it's legal to be doing this in Texas or somewhere else where it might be 17 as opposed to 18 or 16 as opposed to 18. It starts to make you think that maybe some things were going on in Moz's van that they don't want to really get out there. But I'm sure this assortment of people with furry avatars is completely trustworthy. These other kin would never let us down. We've seen that this completely sane, autistic, mentally ill, gender-confused, young user base of Bulba Garden can totally handle hanging out with adults and sharing dick pics and engaging, as Moz put it, homosex. You ever get the feeling that there's just more to something than what you're seeing at surface level? That there are more screen caps and user stories just out there waiting to be heard? What wonders await us for the intrepid explorer who's going to go find that? Because I'm sure it's out there. It's on somebody's fucking hard drive. It's in an Imager link. Somebody has a zipped folder backed up on Dropbox. They just need to put the link out there for us. God, you know, I, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something I read earlier. Something about there being more than one Pokemon wiki that was involved in an underage sex scandal? I know Smoggin had a semi-longtime moderator, Hunter, that was exposed for asking underage girls for pics and was subsequently banned. Hunter was framed because some users wanted him gone. Smoggin invited him back after the scandal, but he refused. The one who was asking for those pics was Goddess Briella, the absolute fucking state of the Pokemon fandom. You fuckers should have watched Digimon. At least then you wouldn't be getting molested by your moderators.